Over the next few weeks, we're going to be diving deep into Google Workspace. We're going to be going through all of those apps that you have access to with your Keller Williams account. So today, let's get started with Google Forms. Hey everybody, it's your favorite tech trainer, Bren Brewer, and today we are diving deep into Google Forms. I can't wait to show you about this. And I just wanted to give you a little bit of a background of Google Forms, what it can do, and how you can leverage that in your business. Google Forms is a way to create online questionnaires. Before we move on, I want to give a huge shout out to Bertha Garcia from San Antonio City View. I actually got to meet her at Family Reunion. She's amazing, and she requested this video. So she wants to know how to do a Google Form. So what can you use Google Forms to do? You can use Google Forms to create an open house sign-in sheet. You can create a referral form with Google Forms. You can create a customer intake form as well. Find out all the information that you need to find out. You can do that in Google Forms. Really the sky is the limit. So how do you access Google Forms? Well, number one, you're going to go into Chrome in your web browser and you're going to make sure that you're signed in with your KW account. And I am not signed in with my KW account right now. So let me move my little face over and add an account. We're going to do this one here. All right, so now you can see I'm in Google and I'm in my KW account. We're going to click on the Google Apps button. That's this nine dots in the top right corner of your Chrome web browser. We're going to open that up and we are going to scroll down to the purple forms. We're going to click on that and you can see I've created a ton of forms, but today we're going to really just start from blank. That way you can create your own and you don't have to rely on someone else's form. So let's go in and click on the plus button in the top left and that's going to start a new Google form. Now the most common form everyone uses for this is an open house form. So we're going to do that today. We're going to come in here and we're going to create an open house sign in form. So right here where it says untitled form, we're going to call it open house sign in and you can make it very generic so that you can use it for every open house. Okay. You can give your form a description. You can change the font to bold or italic or underline. You can insert a link in here as well. Maybe a link to the property uh, website if you want. So you can do all that and you can also remove any of the formatting. It's going to automatically collect emails right here and you can change the settings by clicking this blue button and it says responses. It says collect email addresses, responder input. You can change that to verified. If it is verified, they will be required to have a Google account. So I like to leave it on responder input. You can send responders a copy of their response when they request it always or turn that off. You can allow response editing if you would like. And if you require sign in, it's going to be restricted to Keller Williams only. So we want to make sure and toggle that button off. Limit to one response is also off in case some of these people show up to more than one of your open houses. The presentation settings will manage how your form and responses are presented. You can show a progress bar, shuffle the question order, and then you have a confirmation message. If this is for an open house, I like to click this edit button on the right hand side and type in my own message something like great meeting you at the open house and click save. Show a link to submit another response. You can do that or you can turn it off. If you're using a QR code, you might want to turn this off if people are doing it on their own device. If you have a tablet or a computer for them to fill this out themselves, then definitely leave this on. View results summary, you can turn this off or on. So it's just going to give you a summary of your results in the responses section. And disable autosave for all respondents is off. So form defaults. This is one of my favorite sections in the settings section. We're going to click that drop down box. We have collecting emails by default responder input, but question defaults. I like to come in here and make questions required by default. I have that turned on. So make sure you have that turned on so that all your questions will be required and the people filling out your form will have to fill out every single question that you put. Okay. So I'm going to go back and click on questions. We're already collecting an email address, so we don't need to collect another email address. So our first question is here for us already. We just click where it says untitled question and we start typing the question that we want to ask someone. So that might be their name, right? And Google is going to know what type of answer it should give. If it's a short answer, a paragraph, multiple choice, checkboxes, 
and so on and so forth. You can put any of these things as the type of answer that you want to receive. When you type in name, that's going to know that it's a short answer. You have a button here where you can add a photo to this question if you want, and then you can also move this around when we get more questions. This button is to duplicate this question, this is the delete button, and this is if the question is required or not required. These are more options with the three dots on the top right. You can put a description or a response validation on here as well. We're not worried about any of that, but we do want to go ahead and ask another question on our form, and we're going to click the plus button to add another question. Okay, so when it comes to open house forms, we need their name, we need their phone number, we would like to have their physical address, sometimes they're not always going to give it to us, and we want to know what's their time frame for purchasing a home, and we also want to know if they're working with another real estate agent. So my next question is going to be their phone number. Google also knows that's going to be a short answer, and it puts it there for us. Then I'm going to click the plus button to add another question, and I'm going to ask for their time frame for purchasing a home. And here it's going to be a multiple choice option because we don't want them typing in a bunch of stuff. So our option one is going to be now, in one to two months, in three to six months, and then we're going to put or next year. And then we're done with that. And then we're going to add one more question. We're going to put, are you working with a real estate agent yet? I like to put that because it kind of implies that you want to work with them. So I'm going to put, it's going to suggest questions. I'm going to put yes, no, and that's all I'm going to have for their multiple choice. And then if you want to ask the address, you can. But as far as an open house sign-in sheet, this is pretty much done. You've got their name, their email, their phone number, and their time frame, and if they're working with an agent. When I'm done with this, I want to go and check my response tab here. And you can see I can link the responses to sheets. So if you would like to see this responses from this form into a Google Sheet, you can do that. So I'm going to go ahead and click that button and I'm going to tell it to create a new spreadsheet. But first I'm going to cancel this because I need to go save this as an open house sign in. And I'm also going to do this with a date on it, the date I made it so that I know when I did this Google form. I'm going to go back to my responses, click link to sheets, create a new spreadsheet, and it's going to be that open house. It's going to be the same name as my form, and I'm going to click create. So now when I go into Google Sheets, I have a Google Sheet with this same information, and it's going to be here in a spreadsheet form right for me. So Google automatically opened that up for me. There's no information. I'm going to go ahead and go back to my form, and then I want to click the three buttons here, and you can also get email notifications for new responses. So I want to make sure and turn that on anytime I'm using a Google form. All right. So now the only thing is left to do is to test your Google form. So you want to click the eyeball and look at it. So here's your open house sign in sheet. This is what other people will look at. You want to go ahead and type your own information in here and then click submit and let's see what happens to our Google form. I'm going to go back to my open house sign-in sheet. You can see I have one response. You can see all the information is there. And if I go back over to the spreadsheet, you can see that it automatically went into my spreadsheet as well. So that is super cool. Now you want to use this open house sign-in sheet on your flyer or on your tablet. Well, then you would just open this up with this little eyeball and this is what you would do on your own device to use this at your open house on your own device. Okay. Now, if you want to make a QR code for this, you're going to click that send button in the top left. You're going to get the link. You're going to copy the link and you're going to go paste that into your browser. Once you've pasted it in your browser, you have the form. You're going to click the three dots in the right of your browser. And if you're updated to the latest version of Chrome, you're going to have this save and share button. And then you have a create QR code. You can download this QR code to your computer. We call it open house sign in and then just click save and you can use that. It's saved on your computer as a picture format. So you can put that in any flyer. If you have an open house flyer, you can upload that, put it on your flyer and print it out. And you can use that flyer as your open house sign in QR code and everyone can use their own device. So let me know your favorite way to use the open house sign in. If you like to use it on your own device, you like the QR code, you're putting it on your link tree on other forms. Open house sign in is not going to go on your digital business cards, but definitely let me know how you're utilizing this in the comments below. And 
all of the creative ways you're using Google Forms. Can't wait to hear about it, and I'll see you next week.